Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. And for the newcomers, you're very welcome here. And thanks for taking the time to check out my research. Now, from the moon's aspect, being on the moon, they're looking up at us as we're looking up at them. But which one of us is really the one that is on top? I believe it was Chris, a Canadian astronaut, uh, said that when he left Earth um, on his way to the moon, at one point, what seemed to be going up to the moon became coming down to the moon. And where is that middle switch? What causes the switch? Is there a line, an invisible line? You can clearly see that there are definite tunnels or patterns leaving objects, no matter what the objects are, there's tunnels that are being formed, which looks like what we think is ejecta. It's lit up. It's not normal. All right, guys, listen up. Hey, WSO channel on YouTube, Steve Olson. Shout out, brother. Listen, thanks again. And now we're going to look at something really important, bro. The object that's beside the sun. But I also got in photo, and we'll see through various filtering, guys. Not this planet alone or asteroid or celestial object or planetoid, but the other two or three objects that were invading the sun at that moment. And I saw the post online. Hmm, credible source. What's credible today? Is anything credible? I don't know. Not the... Uh, I'm not even going to say their name. I'm not even going to say those three evil letters. But yeah, we're going to see an amazing view of the uh, celestial objects that were interfering with the sun. Now, hang on. Maybe they weren't interfering. Maybe this is a normal passage very close to the sun or uh, something that happens every so many years, something that happens every day. Who knows? I don't think so because I've never seen an object this big, anything but the, the moon and um, the sun. Biggest objects you'll ever see close by. Then after that, it goes way down, a big drop down to Venus and then you go way out into the uh, constellations to get other stars. So the object is definitely there. What I got is not a lens flare. It's definitely an object. Um, yes, uh, it's pink. Now the planet or planetoid guys is hiding directly um, well, from Earth's view, from our view, and from my view here in Montreal, it looks like the planet is sitting on the sun, which means it could be many hundreds of thousands of kilometers away, but it looks like it's sitting on it. So that is very close in astronomical units when you think of it, because the sun, we don't see things that close to the sun. And in these photos here, we're literally seeing two or three massive planetoid-sized objects. Now, these objects are pretty massive. To understand the size exactly, it's very easy. Look at the comparison of Earth to the sun. That little ball of light you're seeing in the center is our sun. It is very big. So look at the comparison of the other planet or planetoid that's beside it or, and over top of it. It's almost the size of the sun. We heard scientists talk about a certain um, system of two or three stars that were disrupting the sun, our sun. I did read this online. Unfortunately, I did not uh, withhold the link. Um, listen, something went on, and this was the end of, the end of July and August. We started seeing uh, the biggest CME that we've ever seen on the sun came up after that. I caught the flaring, I caught the objects going in and out of the sun, then the solar eclipse, more objects there. Something is definitely and or was going on with the sun and it has been ever so quiet ever since. 
and I've not seen anything near it, near it, around it, going in or out of it. And something's bound to happen because I am filming every day. I'm keeping track of uh, the sun. No matter what you want to call the system, some are speculating Planet X, Nine, and many names for it. Either way, this celestial object traveled a certain distance over top and on the side of the, uh, of the sun. I'm sorry. And get this. In the photos that you saw in this video, at times we can see two or three celestial objects. There's one that's so close to the sun, it actually looks like it's sitting on top of the corona. It's ever so close and then... Uh, the, around the end of July, this is where I got all the flaring guys. And it was an am amazing size of a flare. And I got objects going in and out of the sun. Anyways, I clarified these photos really nicely. So I'm going to try to get some more. Of course, I'm on the sun every day. And thanks for the support, everyone. Stick around. There's lots to come. Well, some amazing people came together with me some researchers, some curious people, along with me, because I'm curious, too. These are website contributors, donors who um, gave me $9,070 to get a telescope, guys, a 14-inch one. We're going to make this happen. It's coming soon, a couple days to wait for the fundraiser to uh, be set to pay out, so I'll be updating you on it.